My friends, it's Laura, and I am bringing you a little surprise haul today. If you're new here, my name is Laura, and I am a vintage seller of women's clothing on Etsy, eBay, whatnot, and Depop. And uh, I have a little haul for you today. So it's Monday for me, um, and I usually do my mostly I thrift on Wednesdays these days. There's a store I go to that has a discount day, and I that's just when I go now. Um, and my I don't want to say my primary goal but like my big reason for thrifting is to stock up my weekly whatnot auctions live auction show where I sell things and um, so I try to have about 30 new pieces to whatnot each week um, it's a little stressful I'm not gonna lie but this week my boyfriend is taking the car on Wednesday so I won't be able to go to my my weekly auction weekly auction oh my god my week, my weekly thrift there so i was going to go to a different thrift store today they were closed but i was already out and about so i was like all right let me stop at this like little local guy um the salvation army that used to be really close to my house had burned down but the manager of that store who they did not place into a new store because they're evil terrible um, but he actually opened up his own thrift store and usually I don't find a whole lot of stuff there that's like my vibe it's a very small store for him and his normal clientele is into different stuff and I don't know how he gets his donations but whatever but today it was a little gold mine I was very excited um, so wait let me see I have to figure out I don't know I didn't even know like what stuff was on sale today. <laughs> I just you know I didn't expect to find anything but I got some cute stuff so I'm gonna show you what I got all right so the first thing is this skirt, which I think is a Y2K skirt. Um, it does not seem to have any tags, but I really like the print. Like it's obviously like, well, maybe not obvious. This was like a very popular 90s Y2K thing. I don't see any modern, I don't see any tags at all in this. So I don't know. I feel like it's definitely of that era for sure. It certainly works with it. This was full price at three whole dollars. And um, I have a Whatnot Y2K show that I'm going to be scheduling, and this will go into that. So that's number one. Then there was this really adorable little skirt. So cute, reversible sailboat skirt, wrap skirt. How adorable is this? That's side one, that's side two. Um, I, I assume it's handmade. I didn't even look for tags because like this is so like stereotypically like 70s um, this was four dollars yeah this was four dollars so this will go in my regular whatnot show um, probably for probably for 15 because it's fucking adorable I love it all right this little sucker there's a lot of this y2k stuff in here today so um, I am not great with recognizing y2k stuff all the time so I pretty sure this is y2k uh, what is happening here? Oh, okay. So it's a dress and I guess that's like a halter style. It probably crosses like this and then there's a halter and um, it's cute. It's mesh. It's got this little waterfall situation thing happening and I will show you the tag. This was also $4, not on sale. Um, I think Trixie is a Y2K thing. I've seen that tag before. So it's adorable. So that'll go in the Y2K show. This is another Y2K piece. I don't know if this is like, like if back in the day, if this was like the the granny top trying to be like what the young kids were wearing kind of thing. You know how that is, right? How there's like those brands that are just like trying to be trendy, but they're like a little old lady-ish. I don't know, but it, it was kind of cute. And honestly, with this store, I will buy things from him that I may not necessarily buy elsewhere because I like supporting him. He's He was great to us while he worked at the Salvation Army. He was a great manager. I don't know why they didn't keep him. He worked there for like 33 years. It was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, we love him. So I, I also just like to support him as a business. Um, this was $3. So this will go in my Y2K show. Also, it's cute. Little, these are like meshy kind of sleeves. So hi, Riz. Let's see, this is another, what I think is a Y2K piece. Not, not 100% sure. Uh, oh no, this one is, because uh, it's the old Charlotte Russe tag, that script label. Also $4, not on sale. Wait, do you see how cute this is? Look at that, it's adorable. It's a mini dress. That's cute. I thought it was adorable with that little tuxedo style top. So 
Y2K show for that as well. Um, this skirt is so pretty. I didn't look at this very thoroughly, but it's really pretty. Look at this. This is wool, it's like 70s, right? It's really like nicely made. So I also have another really beautiful wool skirt that I got somewhat recently. This is foreign. I don't know if it's German or something. Maybe not. I don't know. It's got the Walmart tag, which I guess is international. Like most of this is foreign language on that tag, but it's really cute. And it has, um, it just, it's pretty. So I am, I scheduled a whatnot show for like sweaters and wool stuff at the, I don't know, like first or second week in September. Um, so this will go in that most likely. I have a whole bunch of stuff pending for that, which I've been showing y'all as I go along and collect it. Let's see. Then I found these pants. So these are just your run of the mill polyester elastic waist pants. They do have a sort of, let's pretend we're fancy front on them, right? The elastic is useless apparently. So um, what are these marked? These are marked a size 10, but they're definitely smaller especially if that elastic was supposed to work. And they're gonna need a little bit of a stain treatment, but on polyester, that's pretty easy. There's a spot there. I don't know if I showed you this tag. Personal petites. What was funny, oh, how much were these? These were $3. I had to take a picture of, these were $1.50. So that was nice, a sale item. Um, there was a similar pair of pants that were like these red polyester with the elastic waist. And so I looked at the, at the tag on them and they were fucking Abercrombie and Fitch. Like what, <laughs> like, I was like, so, I mean, I assume they were modern Abercrombie. They didn't look like a super old tag, but it's like Abercrombie's getting it on the polyester pant game. Okay. Um, let's see. This is, uh, this might not actually be, oh, it's a dress. Never mind. I'm lying. Okay. I don't remember what this is. The amount of stuff that I've already forgotten, it's literally been less than an hour since I left the store. Okay, so purple lace. It's sort of a, it's a mock neck top. It's got that like keyhole opening thing in the back. But then also here's the back of the, it's a dress. Here's the back. So that's pretty. And this is Moda International. So here's the thing with Moda International and I'm not um, 100% correct or whatever. I don't remember this accurately necessarily, but Moda International was a Victoria's Secret brand. And I remember it being like in the Victoria's Secret catalog and stuff like that. So there's some of it that is definitely vintage. However, I believe that it is currently a Walmart brand. So, but this is made in Korea. Um, and the tag is like embroidered, not printed and all that stuff. So I feel like this is older, like nineties Y2K. Um, I could be incorrect. And I, the last time I tried looking this stuff up, I had a hard time finding reliable tag information. You know, um, there's some that like you can look at, like they have older tags that are very, these like big white tags with Moda INTL on them. And like, those are clearly older. This one, the made in Korea was part of what, you know, sort of convinced me a little bit. Plus the embroidered tag look. All right, let's see. Did I tell you how much that was? I don't remember. I don't remember looking. All right, it was red, so it was not on sale. And this, oh, that was $7. It's going in the Y2K show, probably for like 15, so. Um, all right, this is really adorable. So this was a white tag. This was six bucks, it was not on sale. It's Liz Claiborne, but it's really pretty. Just a cute little floral sundress, adorable. Like, a, you know, the, the whole 90s rayon situation. You know, there's your tag, right? Um, yeah, and I said six bucks. So it's really cute. And the, the shoulder straps button at the back. So, adorable. Let's see, this thing, this was also kind of cute. All right, limited. The limited, and again, like, so this is made in China. Maybe it's not... The tag is the embroidered tag, not like a printed tag. Um, so I kind of feel like it's old. I mean, it kind of looked a little older. I don't know, the tag, 
here's the tag, right? <laughs> Again, I'm not great with some of this stuff because it just, because it's been so long since I've shopped, especially brands like this, like it just kind of looks like a modern tag to me. Um, but I'm not familiar, but it's a really cute little silk floral dress, right? I don't have a button, it's a button front. I don't have a buttoned all the way, but it's very adorable. It is tiny, size two. This was six bucks, really cute. It does have shoulder pads, so I guess it probably is. That's sad that I'm that bad with the tags. Yeah, and it's got like covered buttons. Like I just feel like we wouldn't, you know, like Modern Limited would not be dealing with any of that. Okay. What is this? Let's see. This is kind of cute. This is a nice little, another little like rayon sort of dress uh, made in S Sri Lanka. And this one was 50% off. This was $2. So, and just a cute little floral shift dress thing. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, and the tag on this, avocado. So it's cute. It'll go in my whatnot show. Pretty much, I think everything so far is going to be in a whatnot show of some sort. This is another little lace top that looks like a Y2K thing to me. I don't know. Um, it's cute, you know, like the tiny little sort of baby doll fit. It's a floral lace. Like I say Y2K, which for me also includes 90s, and that might not be accurate, but that's what it is in my head. Here is. That tag, this was on sale, so this was $3, so I paid $1.50 for it, so you kind of can't go wrong for $1.50. All right, what is this? This is another one, like, I wasn't sure, I think it's Y2K, I don't know. Uh, made in Indonesia, and this was not on sale, it was $4. It's just a cute little cardigan, so kind of the, the cropped fit on it, the way the embellishment is, and then the tag are kind of what make me think it's y2k so not a you know and again this was four bucks uh, a little bit more than I would normally want to pay for something like that but you know I was supporting my friend so it was good all right let's see uh this thing I think is y2k and I'm not sure but I was like look it look it so this was not on sale so it was four dollars it's wet seal and I know that wet seal like vintage wet seal the kids go crazy for I don't even know if wet seal still exists this is like a kimono style situation, right? So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll throw it up in my whatnot thing. I mean, even for 10 bucks, which isn't a great return after paying four, but we'll see what happens. Um, all right, now I'm down to like some of my favorite stuff. So I will go with this one first, which I didn't, I literally didn't even look at the price of this. Um, oh, cute. All right. So it was a green tag. Oh my God. This was $2 for me, which is amazing. It's a little sixties dress. Look at this white lace, right? It's got that little sixties collar situation. It's all smooshed, but you guys know, I know. Um, sheer lace sleeves. That's adorable. That little, you know, and it's got those little satin stripes down at the bottom. It has a metal zipper in the back. I don't know what the zipper is. It's not talon, but it's some kind of metal zipper, you know. Oops. You don't need to care about that. Metal zipper. And then, let me show you the tag. How cute. They keep on. Juniors. It's adorable. Isn't that cute? Little pearl buttons on the sleeves. So this will go on my whatnot show also. That'll be super fun for me to show. All right. Okay. The rest of this, I believe, yes, is all lingerie. He never has lingerie in that store. I was so surprised to find all this stuff. So very excited. All right. Number one, $3. Little cami. I will probably dye this. It's cute, but you know, it needs, it needs to be cuter. That's all. Uh, Kaiser, it is a size 36. It seems a little large for 36 in my opinion, so it probably measures like a 38. So that'll be really cute. Dye that some kind of fun color. And then there's this black one that honestly I just got because all the other ones were with it and I didn't want it to be lonely, but I didn't look at it at all. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Let's see. Um, this was $5. Oh my God little black 
So this feels a little bit older to me, like that, it feels like rayon. It feels like the older, it is nylon. Um, yeah, so here's the tag. Barbizon, and it's marked Miss 18 and a half. And I don't know if you were able to see it before. It's got this pretty embroidery on it. I'll tell you what, I am not going to do this, but I am really tempted to bleach this because I've bleached other lingerie pieces in the past, like black pieces, where the nylon stays black, but then the embroidery kind of bleaches out to like a red or a coppery kind of orange and really cool looking. But this is old enough that I don't really want to mess with it. So I'll probably just throw this in my whatnot show also for like $10, which I don't, again, I'm not thrilled with that return, but I also think that a slip like that on whatnot for more than 10 bucks is unreasonable. Um, you know, I would list it obviously on Etsy or eBay for higher. So, all right, this is another $5 slip. This is Vintage Vanity Fair, mark size 36. It's got the blue script tag. So love that, even though it doesn't want to focus. Damn it. And it's just pretty, just, um, you know, a little lace bodice. And then all this, I might dye this as well. Oh, look at that cute little hem. So that'll be fun really pretty all right let's see then there's this one which was also five dollars it's white aren't you guys glad I'm telling you what color things are and I really like the embroidery stuff on this and the appliques those are really pretty let's see this definitely also is begging for a dye job I don't know who this is I feel like this one would, it doesn't have a tag in it any longer that I can find right now. Um, I feel like this one will do really well with the dye taking up differently in here than it does on the part here. I'm not positive. I'm not always correct in my predictions, but that's what it seems like. I think this will be really pretty when I dye it. Yay. Okay, let's see. More, more fun. Oh, this one's so pretty, a very pale pink. Look at that. And I think this is Vanity Fair. Yeah, this is another Vanity Fair, also size 36. There's her tag. This was also five bucks. Um, ooh, and it's got the little accordion lace down at the bottom. So this one I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not gonna do anything to this. And look, even the little metal things on the straps, little the little details that I love, so pretty. Um, yeah, so this I would put up on whatnot, probably starting at 15. Um, what is this? This one's a bit newer, so definitely a dye candidate. This was $4. This is Lorraine. Yeah, I like this one's not super exciting. Um, and it is a size 40. I honestly, I really just glimpsed a little bit of the slips and just grabbed them all. Um, don't regret it. It's, it's good. Oh, this one's cute. All right. This is another Vanity Fair. Same kind of tag, size 36. This was five bucks. And so this has some discoloration. Ooh. So it's beige, but you can see like there's this big yellow area there. So this is definitely getting dyed for sure. Um, but it also has more of the accordion pleat stuff at the bottom. It's so cute. Girl, what are we doing on the front of this? I think this was folded and like that's like some kind of weird sun damage or something because there's like a line where the stain ends. <laughs> so that'll be fun to dye though. And then the last piece I have, which is so cute, this is a nightgown, um, vintage Barbizon. This was $4. So there's the tag. And look how cute she is. It's not showing as cute for you. So it's a very pretty, very pale pink. It's got this pastel floral pattern on it. It's got all that detail. It's so pretty, right? I can't see what I'm showing you when I hold it up to the camera. There you go, right? So, so pretty and lightweight and nice. It's really just like very, very fairy core, you know. And this, what did I say? It's $4. Yeah, so 
that's my little haul. It was a nice little surprise. Um, I'm going to try and start setting up my whatnot show for this week to see if I still need to go to the thrift tomorrow to like make up the remainder of the pieces. I feel like I might have to. Um, I have a couple other pieces that are, I had to do some like stain treatment on them and I did that, but now they need to go through like the regular wash. So I don't, I basically am going to have to pick between thrift store and laundromat. And I think we all know where I'm going to land on that decision. So, um, for this week. So, but that's it. That's all my little haul of stuff. So that's super fun. Um, I hope you enjoy it and join me in all of my various selling platforms. If you like vintage, um, definitely join me on whatnot. If you like to hang out and watch selling and hauls, <laughs> um, thanks so much. Hope I will see you soon.